you go through and you're like, I got this. I got to go with these <laughs> fucking assholes. God damn it. Every one of us started that way. With, with him, Rezzy, well, you know, Rezzy, oh, we'll be good. We're, we're there. I've been there for him. He's been there for me. You're going through, and he's always stood beside me. You know, he's been there to catch me when I fall. Except for the one thing. This one little crush you've had on him, because he's the one. Oh, that's son of a not. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it was great, but he's like my adopted brother. I know. <laughs> 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 it's just, and you go through, and you're like, I'm still with him. We're good to go. You know, I always have that little bit of affection for him that you know he's not going to return to you. But then all of a sudden you realize, is it because, what about those other people? <clears throat> that no matter how bad it's ever been, you've always had the ability you know and it's connected to how you deal with people, how you look into their souls, how you look into your own, and you cast your magic. And, and then everything is built around that. And you just look around and you see these stars and they're beautiful. They're beautiful. These blinding, brilliant lights that shine in the night. They shine through everywhere, no matter where you go, unless you're deep underground. And even then, you know, they're there because they're eternal. And looking upon them, you start to how dim you are. How flesh, how malleable, how weak, how thin, how, how immaterial you truly are. And you look back and you realize all the times where you said that you were something special, that you set yourself above and looking at these stars, you feel all of it. The impotence. You feel it go away. And as you look at these stars, you realize how beautiful they are and how you'll never equal them. <coughs> Moments through your life start to pan through the first time you hit on a boy. <laughs> <laughs> your character's gay. I know. <laughs> the first time you talked to a boy and told him, professed your love for him, and he looked at you like you were a freak. The first time that you told people that mattered to you and they walked away from you. And then you remember that one time when you found that person that felt okay with you, that returned that affection, and you realize that you're looking at him, he was a star in your mind, and looking at him, he grows even more beautiful. That affection, that love even grows brighter until suddenly it eclipses you again and he sits there one of those blinding stars and you feel even less that first love, that pure innocence is slowly turned to something horrible as you slowly feel yourself shrivel. And as you shrivel, so does your ability to affect those around you. You want to strike out in the darkness and you want to cast your spells at it. Don't even. And you want to cast your spells at it. You want to change the things around you and you slowly can't as everything in you wilts like a flower just dying before the beauty of greatness. And slowly you curl up into a ball and as you do this these stars get brighter and brighter and more beautiful and you feel yourself shriveling underneath a raisin underneath the noonday sun in the desert on a hot rock. You slowly feel like this beautiful creature that you were is slowly turning into this self-absorbed, horrible, little bigot. And with it, everything that you can do, everything that you can touch and affect, goes away. Until you finally fall through one of these stars, and boom, you're out. You okay, man? Yeah, the whole part got a little close to home. Sorry, sorry. I saw the